Welcome to Friday Night Rivalries, and tonight we have a game that should be high scoring and should be explosive. It's Northeast coming in to face the Dudley Panthers. It's right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Welcome back to Friday Night Rivalries. I'm your host, Walter Johnson, and tonight we truly have a David versus Goliath matchup. David, Northeast Guilford, they come in at 0-5, taking on Goliath, the powerful Panthers of Dudley High School, 5-1 coming in, but they are loaded with talent. I tell you what, they've got three guys that have over 400 yards rushing. You have Michael Shaw with 503 yards rushing. You have K.J. Baker, 532 yards rushing. You have Douglas Kennard Moorhead with 402 yards rushing. And then you have Jameer Slade, the quarterback, who has 303 yards rushing. And, oh, don't forget, 890 yards passing coming in. These guys are truly loaded. They are a track team. They can make it happen any play, any time, anywhere on the field. For Northeast, they've got to control the football. They've got to control the pace of the game. If they can't control the pace of the game, we're going to be in trouble tonight. We'll see a track meet of just Olympic-type proportions by the Dudley High School Panthers. Dudley also has a guy, Makai Wall, return specialist, wide receiver. He does it all. He makes it happen from every part of the field as well. He comes in with 200 yards rushing, over 300 yards receiving, over 500 yards return yards. He's a guy. He is an all-state kid, a kid that you can look to for big plays all over the field. So what does Dudley have to do? They really just show up and play football the way Dudley plays football, and they'll be okay. For Northeast, they've got to control the line of scrimmage, which is going to be tough because Dudley is big up front. They average 265 pounds across the front line. I tell you what, it's going to be a tough one for David tonight. Northeast is going to be in for a big one. They got to find out whether they can find enough stones to knock down Goliath. Do I think it's going to happen? Not tonight. Dudley's on a roll. Last three games averaging over 60 points a game, and I think tonight will be nothing less. They should put up between 58 and 65. Stay tuned for the first half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. We have captain for Dudley, number 12, Sean Seagraves, number 99, Logan Wright, Number eight, R.J. Baker. Number five, number 76, Morgan Gardner. Number
Welcome back to Friday Night Robberies. It's halftime here at Northeast versus Dudley, and I talked to you about all these great players that the Panthers had, and guess what? All of them have scored. They've gotten into the box. It started off very early. First play of the game, K.J. Baker went 51 yards for a touchdown, and the floodgates have been open ever since. I tell you what, Dudley has just been piling it on and piling it on and piling it on with athletic ability all night long. Jameer Slade is doing his job. Everybody's doing their job, and the defense has stifled Northeast Guilford. Now, what can Northeast Guilford do? Well, guess what? It's about pride right now, folks. It's about not giving up. It's about preparing for next week, getting better, a little increment, incrementally better, play after play, down after down, series after series, to prepare yourself for the last four weeks of the season. That's what Northeast has to do. For Dudley, they've got to be a little careful. They've got to make sure that they keep all of their guys healthy. And let some of these young guys, these sophomores, these freshmen who are not getting a chance to play, this is their opportunity to show you that they can execute just as well. At halftime, it's a blowout. Dudley's up big. I tell you what, stay tuned for second half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Wow. 
Number 24 turns the corner. And scampers in for a touchdown. That touchdown was scored by Asa Bones. Welcome back, folks. Again, Walter Johnson, and to, the game was a pure blowout. It was a track meet as we thought it would be. Dudley goes up and wins 68-0 to over Northeast Guilford. I tell you what, K.J. Baker played great. Four touches, two runs, two receptions, 176 yards, three touchdowns. Douglas Kennard Moorhead, three carries, 54 yards, two touchdowns. And Mr. Shaw, three carries, 52 yards, one touchdown. These guys were explosive all night long, and they got the job done. I'll tell you what, we had a chance to talk to Coach Davis and K.J. Baker. Here's what they had to say. All right, Coach, what kind of stuff, on the, when you have such a big lead, what kind of stuff are you working on? Uh, just execution. That'll be the biggest thing, you know, making sure we're still running our plays and things right and making sure that guys are in the right place doing, you know, the thing they're supposed to do. What is your biggest worry when you have such a big lead like that? Uh, just a let up, a let down, you know, from this, you know, like if we put the second group in, they're not doing the things they need to do. Um, and then kind of the first group getting relaxed and not on the teams they should be on, like we call kickoff team. We're missing three guys because they all relax. Everybody, you know, the game is over in hand. So those type things. So how do you think your offense performed this tonight? Well, they did good. I mean, um, Northeast is a little down right now, so those guys – came out and focused real well. And that's what we talked about uh, throughout the week. You know, we know we can play football, but can we focus when we need to focus? And I thought we did a good job of that on both sides of the ball. How are you planning on using a game like this for your next year? Well, we, we, can't, we, got, we can't take nobody lightly. You know what I'm saying? Even though we beat these guys right here, we got a different opponent next week. Uh, should we win? Maybe. But in a given Friday, you, you have a chance to, uh, to lose. So we got to remain focused and put in the work throughout the week. RJ, uh, what did you see when you was uh, making your cuts in, in the game? Just simple. Make a man miss, try to get in the end zone, you know? You only had four carries, but you had three touchdowns. How was your line treating you tonight? Oh, they was doing good. They always block good for me. Shout out to my old line, you know? So uh, how do you use a game like this to prepare for the next game? Uh, take it one game at a time. Try to stay focused on the main goal and the championship. How does it, how does the coach keep you happy when y'all got so many good running backs? Um, how, how do you all feel when you know when you get your touches? Just make best. How many touches we get? You get one carry, you gotta get in the end zone. Welcome back to Friday Night Rivalries, and as always, our player of the game tonight is Mr. K.J. Baker. Again. Four touches. That's all he touched the ball, folks, tonight. Four touches. Two carries, 102 yards. Two 51-yard bursts for touchdowns. Two receptions, 74 yards. One 37-yard touchdown with a reception for a touchdown. He was superb. He was great. He's our Friday Night Rivalries player of the game. Now, stay tuned for our play of the ball game. Thank you for watching Friday Night Rivalries. As always, we bring you the best high school sports the area has to offer. You can always check us out on GCS TV 2 or TENWebTV.com. Thank you for watching Friday Night Rivalries.